So let's take this a step further. Let's say we want to separate those tracks of sounds coming out of the MPC and send them to different tracks in Ableton for mixing or editing. First thing I need to do is set up my tracks and sounds to go to different outputs and I'm going to do that from the touch screen. So what I want to do is have every sound or every program have its own individualized output to send to separate tracks inside of Ableton. This is similar to what we did when we exported the stems, but this will be real-time signal coming from the MPC into Ableton. I'm going to leave the piano track going out of the program out of the main stereo output, and I'm going to go down to the kick and snare track. On this track, the kick is on A11 and the snare is on A7. I'm going to first assign the kick. So by touching the pad, I've selected pad A7, and then from this area, I'm going to make sure I'm in the pad mixer, and then I'm going to double touch the output, and I'm going to select an output. And then I'm going to scroll down and select out three and four. Then I'm going to select the snare and put it on outputs five and six right here. Because I use multiple sounds on the same track from the same program, I had to assign those via pad outputs. But the rest of the tracks are just one sound from each program. So I can go to the program output, which is indicated by this, and then I can select the output for the program on that track and they will be separate. So I'm going to assign these percussions to five and six, and I'm going to scroll and enter the data dial. And then I'm going to go to the next track. I'm going to go to the output. Oops, no, go back. And I'm going to double touch on the output, and I'm going to assign these to seven and eight. And then I'm going to go to the next track, which is the hi-hats, go to the output, and I'm going to assign these to nine and 10. And then I'm going to go to the next track, uh, which I thought I named earlier, must not have saved it. Okay, but I know what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that output to 11 and 12. And I'm going to go to the next track, which is the boom bass. And that output will be 13 and 14. And then I'm going to go down to my strings and then go up here to the output. And I'm going to assign that to 15 and 16. Now that everything is separated, when I play back in Ableton, you'll only hear the outputs of 1 and 2. So I'm going to need some more tracks in Ableton to hear my other outputs. But I don't need this extra MIDI track right here, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to create some more audio tracks here. I'm going to create, I uh, probably need about seven more tracks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, I need to show my input output section on my mixer. And here on track one, this is the stereo output. So remember, I left the piano from the first track going out of stereo outputs one and two. So that's what's coming here on track one. <laughs> When you see me hit stop here, I'm just stopping the sample from playing because when I stop the sequence, the sequence will stop playing. But because this sample is set to note on, it will continue unless I double tap the stop. So now I am going to go to each track and set the input to the MPC and then choose the output from the MPC here in the second box. So I'm going to click here and go down to three and four. And then this track will be in from the MPC. And then I'm going to come out from five and six of the MPC and from the MPC from out of the output on MPC seven and eight. Choose MPC again here. And this one will be nine and 10 MPC. 11 and 12 MPC. This one will be 13 and 14 MPC. And this one will be uh, 15 and 16. I messed up here, didn't I? Put 11 and 12 again, 13 and 14. Uh, I think that should do it. I'm also going to activate the input monitoring on all of these tracks. Click here, 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 here. And now if I play back... <laughs>
So now all of the tracks from the NPC are coming into Ableton on separate tracks. That gives me the ability to mix them separate or add effects or even record. If I want to record, I would just arm these tracks like so. Arm all of them. And then I'll hit tab to go into this window and hit record. <laughs> Beautiful. Now I have all of my tracks recorded as audio, well, partially recorded as audio into Ableton so I can edit, mix, and do anything else I need. The one thing I need to do is I need to save my live set. I'm going to go here and say save live set, and then I'm going to tell it where to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click here, and I am going to choose my desktop, and then I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick name, live underscore MPC, simple enough. And now that that is saved, I need to save my MPC project inside my live folder. Because even though the MPC project is already saved somewhere else, it's not inside my Ableton folder. So if I took my Ableton folder to another studio and opened it, it would be looking for the MPC project in its original location. So I'm gonna need to save this inside the project. So I'm gonna go here to the file menu, and then I'm going to go down to Save Project As. From here, I am going to point it to my desktop. And on my desktop, this is my live project. So I'm going to double click that. And then I'm just going to save this project inside that folder. And so now I have a copy of it in my folder. Let's look at it on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and quit live. And here's my live project. And inside here, you see my BWF MPC project, and here's my project data. Everything I need is inside my Ableton folder to port to any studio I like.